All right. So, Jazeel, in the health world, Dr. Seb has been, you know, considered a very controversial figure, you know. What role has he played in, in where you are now and what you're doing? Well, Dr. Sebi has been a big, um, I would say, teacher for me because we're advocates of Dr. Sebi up at my store. Um, I've studied Dr. Sebi's work that took me into my lifestyle that I'm into now. Mm -hmm. So um, just getting into this health field, studying Dr. Sebi, um, his modalities on healing, fasting and things like that. I'm very big on those type of things and, um, you know, he's brought me to where I am today in terms of the knowledge that he's passed on to me. Mm. All right. Yeah, I mean, it had a big impact, you know, him not mm -hmm. being there anymore. I know, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to meet him, you know, um, because in the times that he came to Bermuda, yeah, you met him? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I got a chance to meet him. So that That's was good. big. Yeah, he and Queen of Four. I got a chance to meet Queen oh, of nice. Four as well. Yeah, I wanted to, like I said, um, actually go down to study under his feet down in Usha Village, mm. you know, and get a firsthand interview or teaching from him. But, you know, the opportunity didn't come. Right, right. Well, I mean, looking at your store, and everything, it looks like, you know, his work is definitely living on through many people and it could be considered that you're one of those people that's, you know, you know, carrying. Yes, you know, yes. That as, forward. as um, the saying goes, Dr. Sebi lives through us. You mm. know, that's one of his sayings that he said before he passed. Mm. And he lives on through many of us health practitioners um, pushing his um, alkaline lifestyle you know, to heal people. Um, we do carry his line of products from his first company, The Fig Tree, mm -hmm. and also his company in Los Angeles. He started when he moved to America in 2000 or so. Yeah, I'm Dr. Sebi Southfield. Mm -hmm. And then I do my own line of products um, with this herbs that he uses, um, alkaline natural herbs that he would um, use in his products, going off of what he's you know, set the template for us moving forward. And, you know, myself just doing it over the years, I've, you know, expanded upon it. Right. So what got you into, like, just transitioning from being somebody who was interested in health and natural living to actually having a store? Well, I'll tell you the story how it all started. Um, I used to do construction, drywall, for mm -hmm. about 10 years or so. Um, at a point, I got ill. I had a um, problem with my curling. And I went to the doctors to you know, get an analysis and diagnosis, see if they could help me out. But um, the doctor kept sending me to the hospital get x-rays and, you know, things like that. Um, so I went back to him. He didn't have any results for me. And he done, we done that about three times. So after the third time, and he sent me to the hospital to get another x-ray, I just left his office and went home. And I, I had quit my job and everything because I was, you know, kind of tired of the construction and everything at the time. Just kind of gave up, like, you know, not really gave up, but... I just threw in the towel to say, um, I'm just going to put it in God's hands, so to speak, you know. And so I went home, I was, I was, I would say probably all for a year. And that's when I came across Dr. Sebi on YouTube. You know, I, um, so I was pretty much studying for a whole year on my coach, you know, just studying his works. And I end up getting some of his products. I studied him, Dr. Lalela Africa, Professor Arnold Eric, um, and many others. And once I got his products, I went on my healing journey. I did um, some fasting, taking the products. Um, you know, for most people who know Dr. Sebi's story, 
he had met a Mexican doctor who put him on a 90 day fast, mm. right? And so just listening to him and he was saying how he had just three cups of tea per day during his fast, that's all he was having. And so I tried to follow that same rule, you know, in um, just having my three cups of tea per day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it actually worked out pretty good. I, I, um, I noticed my body healing. I went through my, my, my weak spell, I would say, you know, feeling weak, coming off, you know, giving my body a shock, coming off of our daily ritual of eating foods every day. And so, um, I would say about five to seven days into it, um, I noticed a big difference, you know. And I remember one night I really went to sleep tired, like, you know, from fasting. And I probably went to sleep around seven, eight o'clock. And I woke up the next day and everything was just gone, you know. My hunger pangs, the energy was there. Um, you know, clarity in my mind, you know, all of that. And so I just felt lively again and I continued my journey. Um, eventually, um, my brother, he had these stores selling DVDs and stuff like that. And we, well, I, I basically, as I said, I, I didn't have no job at the time. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to my brother, I said, look, um, can I put some of my products in the store? Because I used to buy them bulk from wholesale. Mm -hmm. So I had access on hand. So I said, can I put some in the store to see if they sell and whatnot, make some of my money back, you know, and it, it sold, it sold pretty good actually. And so he said, look, yo, that stuff went pretty good. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> see if you can get some more <laughs> and we can sell it in the shop. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, cool. And so we end up getting more products. So we've been we've been tied in with the fig tree for over ten years, I would say, um, getting their products. You know, um, I'm very close with Dr. Sebi's son, Sessa. Mm -hmm. um, so he he makes that um, available to us in particular. I'm not sure if anybody else could get that that access of the getting the products in bulk. So, and then. It, it kind of grew from there. I ended up joining my brother at the shop, you know, to explain the products because I knew a little bit more about it. And it grew from there. You know, we started with a little bit of products, um, Dr. Sebi stuff, um, start bringing in herbs. The more people requested, we just kind of accommodated them, you know, and now we're to a point where it's a holistic health store. We have the natural herbs, Dr. Sebi products, all the um, grains and things that he recommends, the alkaline foods, um, right down to incense, singing bowls. Yeah. Okay. Well, give thanks. So for all you who are watching, we're here with Jazeel Quelo, and he's from Organic Organ Body. And that's a holistic health store up in Somerset. So people in the West End are very familiar with it. I know I myself, I patronize this store on a regular basis, get my herbs, get my Dr. Sabre's supplements, See get my Seymour's, <laughs> and all sorts of things that they've expanded. So quinoa, different types of pastas, you know, different types of whole grains, you know, even different cereals and, you know, it's a, you know, yeah. Natural cosmetics. Yeah, natural cosmetics. You know, yeah, you got the shea butters there and all of that. Incense, yeah. essential oils. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a real treasure chest. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. and, and it's yeah, good yeah. because also, as you can see, you know, Jazeel has a good knowledge of the products that are available. And as a result of that, like, it's common to see in the shop. And it happens all the time. And I get up there. These big conversations evolve. <laughs> Yes, yes. People are captivated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and so we end up in these big conversations about life and about health and longevity and, mm -hmm. you know, and things that are natural living. And so it's, so it's all positive. Yes, You know yes, what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm big on putting people on that journey, you know, because I've been through it myself. I know what, you know, it's going to yield. 
you know. Um, I'm, you know, I'm like a living testimony and many others, you know, who's been on the journey, mm -hmm. you know, and actually the body heals itself, you know, so you just give it the, the opportunity to do so in terms of, like I say, fasting and things like that, providing the herbs, the minerals that the body needs, um, and yeah, the body's going to do its thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's... I mean, obviously you said that this store has grown, you started to get requests, and you started to build this store based mm -hmm. on the requests. You know, now that you've gotten to the point where, you know, you have a fully functional holistic health store, you know, what's been your experience like? Has it, has it continued to grow rapidly? Do you find the same people are coming in all the time, or is it new people? You know? um, yeah, I would say, we do have our regular customers, but we, I do have new people coming in all the time, mm. like almost every day. I got customers island wide from Dockyard to St. David's. Right. <laughs> you know, and so I still think um, a lot of people still don't know about us, you know, just because we're located up in Somerset Village, you know, just a little quaint, quiet community. <laughs> but um, I've, a lot of people's asked me, you know, Yo, you need to get your store in town and, you know, expand out and different things like that. So, um, but yeah, we we get new customers all, all the time. Right. You know, people spreading the word for me, basically. Right. Letting people know. Yeah. So what seems to be in the biggest demand? Um, I would say, like, our major line of products, Dr. Sebi products, iron, uh, his iron supplements, and then um, the herbs. So I would um, basically give people the knowledge of, about the herbs, which herbs is good for what system and organs of the body. And basically, once they get introduced to it and, you know, start using it, they would come back for those specific herbs because we, we don't deal with like all sorts of herbs like um you know Dr. Sebi spoke about African Arabs you know African Arabs for the African man and so we don't do too many of the Ayurvedic and Chinese Arabs and things like that um because as you know Dr. Sebi had healed all walks of life that came down to his village Mm -hmm. And he, he used the same line of herbs. He didn't switch up his herbs to say, okay, he's got a Chinese patient. Let me give him some, you know, Chinese medicine, you know, things like that. So, um, and with the fig tree products, their, 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 um, their formulas hasn't changed in over 30 years, you know, since they started in 1970. Okay. Yeah. So... Dr. Sebi was big on, you know, one on alkaline foods. Mm -hmm. And he also had an interesting take on what's a fruit, what's a vegetable. And then it was a long list of things that were considered hybrids. Yes. Yeah, hybrid foods. Hybrid foods, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it's always suggested that we avoid those yes. foods, you know. So, so what somebody key things that he's always advocated for, you know, and some of the things that is encourages people to stay away from. Yeah, so um, alkaline foods and alkaline herbs. So the alkaline foods will be um, things that leave a, a alkaline ash when digested into, in the body. Mm -hmm. So certain foods leave an acidic ash once assimilated, and those we will call acidic foods. Mm -hmm. um, and it's pretty much telltale signs with the herbs, um, how to tell what's alkaline and what's, what's you know, man-made and hybridized. So with the alkaline herbs, they spring up naturally, seasonally. Mm. Um, they naturally have a seed, and the roots are another telltale sign. The roots actually go deep into the earth to provide that um, anthroporosis process that he um, spoke about in terms of the herbs being able to convert the minerals in the earth and have it in a soluble form in the herb so that when we consume that herb, it's assimilated in our body. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are the three aspects on the herbs having seed, um, the roots, and them popping up seasonally. So the herb, most of them that the herbs that we call weeds that pop up seasonally, the dandelion root, blue vervain, we can't get rid of them, you know. So most people, um, well, if you used to just let your backyard grow, you're going to have those herbs pop up, <laughs> rhubarb and different things like that. Right, right, right. You know, so those are the herbs that God put her forth to use to heal the body. Right. So it encourages us to use those for sure. Yes. Yeah, it's the natural herbs as opposed to something that's farmed and, you know, needs a greenhouse or needs man's intervention to, mm -hmm. to create it. Right. You know. Lifestyle management and getting people on a journey towards living, you know, more naturally and, and, and healthier mm -hmm. you know, is, is, you know, a touchy subject <laughs> yeah. and something that, you know, many of us tend to struggle with, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Do you find that, right, the people that come into your store are generally ready to embark upon that journey? already or do you find that you're having conversations with people like constantly trying to encourage them to embark upon their um, lifestyle? It's mixed. It's mixed. We have, uh, I would say, our conscious community, mm -hmm. who, people who, you know, know about Dr. Sebi and are actually on the lifestyle, living the lifestyle. You know, they come in, they know the things and, you know, we have a, a good rap, you know, just come in and talk about things and our journeys and how we're progressing and things like that, you know, somebody might um, tell me their experience of them fasting or taking the herbs and how it's, you know, impacted their life. And then I, I do have my customers that, you know, um, are beginners, you know, new to the lifestyle and I have to basically break it down to them about, you know, living an alkaline lifestyle and what it's going to do for the body in terms of how to get you know, your healing to come about, you know, um, as far as diet changes, lifestyle changes, getting away from the processed foods and things like that, the processed chemicals um, all around us, in our soaps, deodorants, um, cosmetics and things like that. So, yeah, I have a, a mixed um, customer base. Mm -hmm. So, just off the bat, you know, if somebody's listening to this interview and saying, okay, you know, you're talking about a healthier lifestyle, you're talking about some herbs, they hear you talking about alkaline and things like, mm -hmm. you know, from, from your experience, like what have been the key contributors to, you know, I guess all the disease that we're seeing um, in the community? Right off the bat, food. Food. Food is the, the main factor in, you know, people's health declining. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, not giving the body the opportunity to cleanse itself pretty much, to heal itself. So it's sort of like um, you're eating three meals a day. Some people eat more. Some people eat right around the clock because you're eating your, your three square meals and then you're eating snacks in between and things like that. And so if you're, you're constantly doing that and um, our cells do the same thing, our cells Look at your cells like a minute to you, right? So your cells are eating, um, breaking down food and matter, and your cells are got to defecate and use the bathroom, get rid of waste as well, right? And so we do that um, daily, and it's sort of like um, taking the garbage out. So we take our trash down to the road outside of our house, right? <laughs> and it's sort of like, so if... We're constantly eating, building up waste, accumulating waste, putting it out to the roadside, and the trash truck's not coming by, <laughs> you know, because um, we're not giving the body the opportunity to do so. So if you're constantly, just imagine how your, your front yard will look or whatnot if you're not getting rid of the waste, you know, what would, what would be accumulated over time. So... Um, I put it in that instance for people to, to look at um, if you're not giving your body the opportunity to 
get rid of the waste, get rid of the trash, you know, in terms of giving your, your body a break from taking in and breaking down and assimilating, digesting, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you need that time for your body um, to just get rid of waste. And the only time most people do get that opportunity is when they sleep. So the term fast asleep, that's the only time most people do fasting in their life, <laughs> you know? I mean, you, the rest of the time they're eating. Yeah, eating, yeah. So are you saying we have to stop eating or are you suggesting that it's just what we're eating that is the challenge? Um, stop eating is like a big um, push for the body to do its thing. Um, but not necessarily that you have to stop eating, but definitely a diet change mm -hmm. um, in terms of, you know, I tell, I tell people at my store, if, you know, you're used to eating three square meals a day, try to break yourself down, you know, mm -hmm. break down to two meals a day, eventually one meal a day. And, you know, until you, if you want to embark on the fasting journey, um, you do it slowly. You know, you don't just jump in head first, you know, because you're going to um, have withdrawals and things like that because food is like a drug, you know. So, like um, a um, heroin addict or whatnot, um, coming off of their drug of choice, you're going to um, have withdrawals. So it's the same with the food. The food is like a stimulant, you know. Um, we're used to it. And so coming off of it, your body's going to go into shock. But that shock is going to um, give you strength in the long run, you know, because right. the body sees um, what it really needs to address. And once you go into fasting, um, well, I should say once you break that fast, the body is now, um, I would say, prepared itself for if you do get into that situation again, it's going to be more readily prepared mm -hmm. to not let um, I guess certain diseases come about again. So like food's everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. you walk around, you smell it, you know, you go across, you know, you smell the KFC, you know, you smell the pizza shop, you smell the whatever, or, mm -hmm. or the restaurants and everything, like the food is there and it's, you mm -hmm. know, it's very rich and, you know, people yeah. are thinking, oh, this smells good and, you know, so it's just, and then you turn on TV and all the commercials is like food in your face yep. and, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's just more and more food. It's all a part of the system. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like design. It's like um, the Food and Drug Administration is. It's all designed for that. You know, it's designed to make you sick, and then we have the the health care for you. You know, so it's a cycle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The pharmaceutical products. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So people come into your store can find supplements, they can find herbs, they can find some different whole grains, whole foods. Yeah, know. yes. Um, but I guess a key message that I'm hearing from you is that you can engage all of that. You can drink the sea moss, all of those things can help you. Mm -hmm. you know. But for the best results, you know, it's important to also start to make some changes to our lifestyles, find an area that you can start to improve on. Yes, so. yes. And it all has to, you know, you has to do with the mindset of the individual as well. So you do have to go into it with the proper mindset of wanting to heal, wanting to get on that journey of, you know, empowering yourself, getting healthier, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm big on fasting, you know, to tell people to fast and stuff like that is, it's like, you know, telling them, <laughs> you know, go starve yourself. That's how they say, they look at it, you know, they say, well, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to starve what I'm supposed to do, you know? And that's why I tell them, break the self down, um, and gradually work into it. But you do have to have that mindset of willingness. You know, the mind is a powerful, um, tool on the healing journey as well. Yeah. You know, the mind, you could do so much with your mind and belief um, of um, just healing yourself, you know. If you believe that you're going to do it, it's, it's more likely that outcome's going to happen for you, mm -hmm. you know. But if you're going, you're doubtful and you're skeptical, uh, I don't know if this is going to work, you know, and, you know, that's 
that's just making the journey harder. You can even um, hinder your healing process with that that mindset, you know, mm. of doubtfulness, not 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 sure of it working. Mm. So I try to put, um, you know, just different tidbits out there in terms of, you know, we have a strong religious community in the, on the island. So I speak about Genesis and how God said the herbs are for the healing of the nation. The fruits with yielding seeds shall be as your meat. Mm. So, you know, and that, you know, I just tell people turn to the Bible and how, how many times has fasting been mentioned in the Bible, you know? So I tell people, you know, do like Christ does, you know, Christ fasted for so many days and, you know, and, mm. you know, be a follower of Christ if, you know, you want to, you know, you say, yeah, you know, at a person of, you know, Christian belief or whatnot, whatever belief you might come from. Mm -hmm. And a lot of um, different religions across the world do um, incorporate fasting. You know, they'll have a day of fasting. I, I always thought um, the Sabbath was a, I look, I, that is my day of fasting. And I always thought it was in the church community as well. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently not, because I see the seventh day as they'd be eating on Sabbath and stuff like that. So. Mm. All right. So in terms of the Living Green Expo, you know, um, mm. what are your thoughts on it and, and what can people expect to see from from your booth when they come to the expo at the end of the month? Well, you know, I'm still going to be pushing my message on, of healing the body. Um, we have our major line of products, uh, Dr. Sebi products, the fig tree products, is Dr. Sebi South Food, um, the alkaline foods, the essential oils, the natural herbs, and you know, I'll be there to give my knowledge on you know how to prepare these herbs, um, proper combinations for different um, systems of the body, and you know the alkaline lifestyle, um, alkaline in your body, um, and how to get about healing the body. Mm. Yeah. All right. And so, for anybody who is interested, how do they get in touch with you, and where do they find the store? Okay, so we're located in Somerset Village, um, just before Caesar's Pharmacy, across from the new bubble tea and uh, Pomodoro. Um, we, I have a website, www.orgonbody.com. You could also find us on Instagram, Facebook. Um, reach out to us. Um, we're open Monday to Saturday, 11 to 7 p.m. Uh, we do consultations, things like that. Um, phone number is 234-3737. All right. Well, give thanks. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming through and sharing your insights on how we can live a lot healthier. Um, appreciate the work that you've done to develop the store as a result of your own personal journey. It looks like a lot of people are benefiting from that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and I think it would be great and a great experience to have you at the expo. I'm sure it'll be a lot of interesting conversations that you'll be able to have. And for anybody who's watching this show, I really encourage you when you come out to the expo, make sure you stop by Jazeel's booth. You know, we always have some great conversations every time I go to the store and I see him having conversations with his clients all the time, you know. Many times when you find people in the holistic health space, they have had a personal journey that has inspired them to live the way that they live. You know, so the opportunities are there for all of us. Many of us are suffering silently from different ailments. Many of us have a growing list of pharmaceutical products that we're using on a daily basis. You know, and from my experience, that list just gets longer and longer and longer until we decide to make a shift. And there have been many cases where people have gone down that route and made a shift and ended up eliminating, you know, sometimes all of the pharmaceuticals that they're on and entering into, right, a period where they're enjoying a much better quality of life. So the opportunities are there for all of us. These things that you've experienced, even Dr. Sebi, who's someone who's, you know, highly regarded, you know, 
Yeah. Queen of Four, another one, you know, written many books. All of these people have had personal experiences yeah. that sent them on a journey of first healing themselves and then using that experience to help to heal others. So yeah. thank you for your journey mm -hmm. and for what you've embarked upon to you have definitely been a huge service to the community and um yeah. And I hope that everyone who's watching this episode comes and sees Jazeel. If you're up in Somerset, be sure to stop by. Remember, it's just before Caesar's Pharmacy, organic, all going body. And if you get lost and you can't find it, just ask for the dread. Everybody would know what to say. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> but give thanks for watching today. It's been a pleasure having Jazeel on. I encourage everyone to come out to the Living Green Expo again, January 28th. It's a Sunday in Dockyard. It'll be a beautiful experience, all right? So enjoy the rest of your day.